Strange sightings in the sky have been recorded for ages, but the scientific world has seldom taken these UFOs seriously. Following a recent congressional hearing on unidentified aerial phenomena UAPs, NASA has announced the formation of a team to study the issue. NASA is conducting an inquiry into mysterious aerial occurrences, a mission that some experts and even NASA's own leadership say might jeopardize the space agency's reputation. Historically, NASA has concentrated its life-searching efforts on looking for traces of bacteria on Mars, wet, potentially life-supporting moons in the solar system, and signals of distant, sophisticated species. UFOs are a very different tale. According to NASA and others, there is no indication that UAPs are alien in nature, and the space agency's inquiry is not intended to show they are. However, by beginning the probe, NASA is entering an area fraught with conspiracies and difficult to control propaganda, which might jeopardize the agency's great public reputation. So why is NASA conducting formal research on UFOs? Come along and find out. Although UFO allegations have made news throughout the world for decades, they have rarely received top tier attention. The authorities and higher ups have often smoothed over UFO tales, explaining them away and in some cases, mocking them. However, this is no longer the case. And as the 21st century progresses, the UFO question is becoming an increasingly important subject at the pinnacle of American space exploration. UFOs, or UAPs, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, as they're more formally known nowadays, have been making headlines recently. As I previously reported, the House Intelligence Committee's Counterterrorism, Counterintelligence and Counterproliferation Subcommittee held public hearings last month on more than 140 sightings of UAPs flying in all manners of inexplicable ways by military pilots over the past 20 years, bobbing, weaving, hovering, diving, and changing direction with head snapping speed that would generate potentially lethal g-forces to any living being, or at least any living human being inside of it. According to a news release, NASA's inquiry will focus on gathering data to learn more about UAPs, which they describe as observations of occurrences in the sky that cannot be classified as aircraft or known natural phenomena. David Spurgle, astronomer and president of the Simons Foundation, will lead the team. NASA estimates that the study will cost around 100,000 US dollars and will take roughly nine days to complete. Unlike earlier UAP investigations, which depended on secret data that could not be shared with the public, the NASA effort will make its findings and data available to the public. There are several examples of human forging forth into uncharted territory. It's contentious or has some reputational concerns. NASA's Associate and Minister for Science, Thomas Zuberkin, stated at a press conference. This will undoubtedly be received with skepticism in certain fields, but I feel it is vitally important. According to Zuberkin, NASA has traditionally been entrusted with discovering life elsewhere, which is why astrobiology missions remain a priority for the organization. The Perseverance rover is now looking for indications of ancient life that may have been on Mars in the past, while future missions are being prepared to look for signs of life on other worlds in our solar system. According to Zubukin, the agency's goal is to investigate an unfamiliar presence in the air and space. The agency would approach the UAP research in the same way that it would approach any other scientific study, by taking an area with little data and making it worthy of scientific examination and analysis. There have been several instances where something that appeared nearly miraculous turned out to be a novel scientific consequence, Zubukin remarked. Given the national security and aviation safety concern presented by UAPs, experts want to examine the sightings and determine whether they are natural or need to be explained otherwise. NASA officials have been thinking about how to investigate UAPs in a formal fashion for a long time, but they wanted to make sure that they addressed it correctly, according to Zuberkin. The quality of scientific inquiry must be consistent regardless of the subject. 
However, this investigation will be completely declassified and in the public domain, with NASA's Science Mission Directorate spearheading the push. Zuberkin stated that he was uninformed of any previous NASA systematic review of UAP data. The study's goal is to develop a proposal for a research program that can be implemented once the researchers examine the data that is available and should be reviewed. During the news conference, Daniel Evans, NASA Science Mission Directorate's Assistant Deputy Associate Administrator for Research, stated that the complete study will be made accessible to the public and that the research team will arrange a public meeting to discuss the results. The budget for this initiative, like that of NASA's other routine award review panels, is projected to be between a few tens of thousands of dollars and no more than $100,000, according to Evans. In the domain of conspiracy theorists, UFOs have had a rebirth in recent years. The New York Times published video clips in 2017 that appeared to show objects traveling through the skies at high speeds and doing maneuvers that would be impossible for recognized aircraft. The Pentagon eventually confirmed their legitimacy and publicly published the tapes a few years later. The Office of the Director of National Intelligence, ODNI, issued an official report on the subject in 2021, which has since been renamed as UAPs. The paper identified five plausible explanations, aerial clutter, natural atmospheric occurrences, US government or industrial technologies, foreign aircraft, and a catch-all label. Based on this research, Congress convened hearings on UAPs earlier this year. The Congressional hearing occurred after a comparable Department of Defense study on UAPs was released last year, and both Congress and the Pentagon came to the same conclusion. The objects might be natural occurrences misconstrued by the pilots and their equipment, new technology developed in Russia, China, or other high-tech nations, or, in principle, extraterrestrial in origin. UAPs are inexplicable, stated Congressman and Committee Chairman Andrew Carson in his opening comments during the House hearings. However, they are genuine. The study of aerial phenomena will concentrate on finding existing data, the best means to acquire data in the future, and how that data may be evaluated to better understand UAPs. Science, aeronautics, and data analytics experts will be contacted. Expectations concerning those results should be kept in check, particularly any conclusions about alien origins. However, NASA's involvement is a significant step forward, and the data should give some intriguing insights into this lengthy enigma. NASA stated in its report that there is no indication that UAPs are alien in origin, but of course, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence, and NASA officials admit that anything is conceivable and that they will pursue the results wherever they may go. Even while the public and Congress have grown increasingly interested in UAPs and UFOs, NASA has remained fairly silent on the matter. Last year, the government issued a study that evaluated over 140 UAP cases during the previous 20 years. However, Zerbukun stated that no topic should be off limits for the space agency or science in general. The team will be asked to approach UAP problems with an open mind and maybe establish a framework for future research to assist in determining what these phenomena are. It's possible that NASA's decision to publish its UAP reports in full transparency will help counter some claims that the US government is concealing evidence of UAPs from the public. However, the initiative may encourage those who believe UAPs are of extraterrestrial origin. Sightings UFOs have long been a source of fascination in the United States and around the world, and that fascination was fueled in 2017 by a bombshell, the New York Times project detailing countless cases in which US military pilots observed strange, oddly shaped objects darting around at high speeds, as well as a covert government investigation into the topic. One of the most famous sightings, captured in 2004 video dubbed the Tic Tac, due to the UFO's resemblance to a particular cylinder-shaped breath mint, shows the small, ghostly object zipping out of frame, appearing to defy the normal laws of physics, as the pilot who captured the footage told New York Magazine in 2019. 
Another image taken in 2015 by US Navy Super Hornet fighter plane and published in 2019 by the Times shows a bizarre spherical object flying directly into 120 mile per hour gusts. The pilots can be heard yelling expletives as they wonder aloud if they're staring at a drone before the object appears to come to a halt, hover, then tilt forward. What has become increasingly obvious in recent years is that there is a tidal change taking place among authority groups in the United States. What was formerly rejected or despised has now become a legitimate source of concern, necessitating an increasing amount of time, energy, intelligence and concentration. That is why NASA has recently begun an official UFO probe. What are your thoughts on the continuing UFO investigation research? Please leave your opinions in the space below. Remember to like and share if you agree. Thank you and we'll be back shortly. Until then, best wishes.